One, two, three, fuck it. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Anna and today we're gonna be reacting to the seventh episode of the fourth and last season of the Dragon Day. Before we begin today, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and also remember that if you like my content and you want to support the channel, you can always do it by becoming a patron for just one dollar per month where you will have access to full length uncut reaction videos, anime reactions, uncensored, and movie reactions. You can also support me by buying me a coffee or making a one-time donation via PayPal. All of this is going to be in the description box down below. So, the war is on and I am loving it. Somebody in the last episode asked if I wanted Porco to die. And the answer is um, no, not particularly. Here's the thing, initial I am, like there's no loyalty here. I've been following for three seasons the other side of this battle and then in these few episodes we follow the Eldians and you know Gabby and everybody and Ragnar and kind of got to know them a little bit better. So I'm not really into just one side and I am not either into one specific character dying. What happens is that every time that I see a badass moment, I lose my shit and I'm rooting for whoever is having the baddest moment in that point. So I am rooting for Rainer, I am rooting for Aaron, I am like when Levi showed up and like with that moment where everybody was right behind Porco and the Jaw Titan and they were just like doing the baddest bitch playing in the distance, I was like oh my god that is so great because we, we've been there with those guys since the very beginning and we saw them struggle and lose shit and lose everything and lose people and lose faith and hope and then regain it a little bit and become stronger and stronger and more skilled because you don't really survive in that world without having a shitload of talent basically killing, um, <laughs> killing titans, being athletic and being able to put up with a lot of a lot a lot a lot of traumatic shit so you know just like arriving to season four and seeing them being so badass and lethal and deadly it's like oh my god my babies yes nothing against Porco. like i don't want him to die particularly but that moment of seeing them all just fulfilled being just adults and grown-ups and being deadly after everything we've seen them gone through it just did it for me in that moment so i'm not like rooting for anybody to die precisely i actually have quite a, a few favorites in both sides that i don't want them to die but if the scenes requires it for the other side or another character to be badass i mean I'm gonna still lose my shit over it, <laughs> you know? I am the least loyal bitch around here. So that was an answer to that comment. Now, uh, I just wanna jump right into this and see the action, see the fist fight, see the blood, see like everything. I am seriously doubting that this fight is gonna end this episode because it, it, they are just having so much detail and so much depth within the fight it's just not it's not a fight just for the sake of it and we already have so many characters and we're following so many characters that i just don't think they are going to do this to us i don't think they're just gonna be like yeah this is it this is the day that it ends i don't think so so let's just jump right into it and let's watch this this moment of levi i'm like mm. Even seeing it again after watching so many times for editing, I get chills. Look at that! I get chills! Oh my god, no! Oh shit! Oh, she can still do 
shit while she is crystallized. Like, as long as she's crystallized, it doesn't matter if there's a titan involved or not. Okay. That's cool, by the way. You got it. Oh, that's so cute. That she thinks she can go against him. Is it me or... The Zeke, you know, the beast, Titan, looks like more, looks so much more big. I remember the beast Titan being smaller. Assault, okay. Oh my god, look at those takes. Holy shit, they take you. Can you imagine this shit in 3D? Oh my god. They could make a whole ass attraction about this. You know, like um, a ride. Like the Flight of Passage in Disney World. Oh my god, there were so many funny ass memes of that moment. <laughs> Yeah, there's not much will to live in that man, I'm telling you. It talks? Has that shit always been able to talk? Aaron Hessel has had way too much fight in him. What you mean? Oh, Gabby. Oh man, she does not look okay at all. This is the first time we see the colossal titan, right? Is 
literally everything is crumbling down right around them. Those three. It looks hilarious because he's like so uh, like build up, you know, and then the teeny teeny head on top of it. <laughs> That's literally all he did. He just transformed and job done. Did he really kill Seek? It was uglier. <laughs> Sorry. That's what the lights were for. You're kidding me. He's using him as a fucking nutcracker. Oh my god, Aaron. Does it work like that? Like, just the blood of her? Leave me die in peace. Like it 
double in size. It's just very, very like a very nerve-wracking fight of being, you know, like, oh my god, they're winning. Oh my god, no, the other side is winning. Oh my god, no, they have this in the lead. And oh my god, no, like, what is the plan with Hanji and 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 army up there flying, following the that? What what is the plan there? What are they doing now? And. And now Eren has, you know, the Attack Titan, the Founding Titan, and the, 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 the Hat Warhammer Titan. Like, who's gonna win? Like, take a wild guess of who's gonna win this. Um, I'm pretty sure that even the wildest guess is gonna be wrong, because the show is wilder than my imagination, <laughs> to be quite honest. Um, and I'm, I'm having a great time watching this, I'm really having a great time just like, not knowing what's going on, it's the truth. I just don't know what's going, what's happening, what's gonna happen next. I just, um, what? So uh, yeah, this was it for today's episode. I cannot wait for next week and see what the hell they're gonna do now. Things are not looking good for the the Eldian team with Gabby and all of them. You know, like half of them are dead already. And then Armin wiping out a shit load of people when he transformed that shockwave of like kilometers ahead. That was so cool. That was so cool. Um, but they, they really don't have, I don't see them having that much of a, uh, a chance. And even that Rainer now is kind of back. But himself, he's like, just let me fucking die. I don't think. If he's gonna make that big of a difference to be like, yeah, okay, we're winning this shit. He's like one step into the grave already. Like his will to live is just non-existent, which is pretty sad, but it is what it is. So yeah, this was it for today's episode, guys. I hope that you liked it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching with me today. Have a great day and I will be seeing you around.